To say that the greenhouse is a mess might be an understatement. <laughs> it's pretty bad. So we are gonna come out here today. The weather has been a little bit warmer the last couple days. So we've had, you know, high 40s, which is awesome. Um, so I thought I'd come out here while it's not super cold and get this done. And then it's supposed to snow again. Or we're supposed to get some colder temperatures. So that's why I thought I'd come out here. I am feeling this winter weather. Are you guys feeling it? Are you kind of done? It's kind of weird because it honestly hasn't been that bad of a winter, but I'm just like, okay, I'm ready for spring now. So if you are ready for spring, leave it down in the comments and let's get this greenhouse cleaned up.
greenhouse is ready for the garden season and I am so excited to have this job done. It was such a disaster in this greenhouse because if you remember in the fall, the baby goats got in here. Goats got into the greenhouse, ate all the kale, all the peppers, the grapes, all the way as high as they could reach. And then the cats got in here and helped knock over some more and all these plants that I had been saving some of them for two years in this greenhouse, they just destroyed. All the pots that were in this row were on the ground. So I don't know what is going to live. I will just have to see. Um, I'm gonna leave them in their pots. As soon as the weather starts warming up, I'm gonna start watering them and we'll see which plants survived and I will let you know when we start looking at them. Um, I did manage to get all the pots organized up there and all the trays, and then I got all the garden beds kind of cleaned out. And the only thing I haven't done yet is I, I do need to prune this grape. I just am not sure exactly when to prune it. I left it because the goats did so much damage. They ate all the leaves. Well, you can kind of see the bare spot. <laughs> and, um, so I kind of left that and then I just organized the pots and got everything kind of ready to get going out here. I'm going to do some research and find out. I just am looking at some of these plants like they clearly ate the whole tops off of them. So we'll just see. That's not always a bad thing. Um, they kind of do your pruning for you, but I don't know. While I'm out here, I thought I would show you a little update on the carrots that I've been storing in the clamp since last October. So let's go take a look at those. So behind me in this pile of straw is where I've carried, stored all our carrots from last October. I wasn't entirely sure how this method was gonna work in this greenhouse. This is an unheated greenhouse. So all I did was layer these carrots. You can go back and watch that video. I will leave it at the end of this video for you. Um, and then basically we just layered the carrots and straw and left it covered. It's a pretty sheltered area in here, even though it's not heated, it does pretty good. Um, at the moment it's probably 40 degrees, 45 degrees outside and it's about 60 degrees in the greenhouse. Now that's partly because the sun is shining today. So I'm going to show you really quickly in this mess here, <laughs> what has happened with these carrots. So some of them are fine. Like this one. Oh, nope. This one's not fine either. So do you see that? And we've got some definite molding in here. So you see that that's not, we don't want to see that. And that's pretty much throughout this whole heap. I don't know if some of the ones down lower. So I haven't actually gone through this yet all the way. So I don't know if some of them deep down are really good still, but what ended up happening is that this whole entire mound froze. Our temperatures dropped down to negative 20 degrees Fahrenheit, a little bit below that. And this pile had frost in it. It was frozen solid because this greenhouse doesn't stay that warm in the winter times. From November till February, our sun goes so low in the sky that it's not effective. It's not warm, it has no heat to it really, and even the sunny days are free freezing cold. So the carrots froze. It was a fantastic experiment. Some of them are still okay. I've been kind of picking through the top ones and I'm gonna, I'm gonna go through the entire stack here maybe in, the, in this next week or so and I'll take you guys along when we do that. I did learn I think that we do need to cover it with dirt and I didn't do that partly because I ran out of time partly because I ran out of energy and you know you can only do so much in the season and that's okay it's all right for things to go not perfectly every single year and it's okay for you to let some stuff go. That's the great news about gardening on your own is that you usually have so much you can experiment with some of it. So this was not all our carrots. We actually just finished the ones that I stored in the crisper drawer in a Ziploc bag with a paper towel that was moist. We just finished those. 
and I think that's pretty good that it's February, the end of February even, and we've made it this long from what we grew in the garden. So I think that's pretty awesome. I will continue trying to experiment until I get it right. And I will of course take you guys along for the journey. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to share with your friends, learn and grow.